Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jonas Blue and I'm here with Men's Health at my home gym where I'm going to be going through some push, pull and compound exercises that I do at home or on tour. So this is how I build my body. So the first exercise that I would usually do of my workout would be a dumbbell flat bench press. Absolutely love this one. Love the squeeze and the warmth and the blood that it drives into my chest. Great for a chest workout. So we're gonna do a slight warm up and then we're gonna get into the heavier weights. So this is great to get the blood circulating around the chest to allow you to go heavier afterwards. And I'll usually probably do about 20 reps of this with dumbbell flat bench press. So we're on 22s, heavy weight. Let's get into it. So the second exercise that I love is called a back cable rope high pull. This was actually something that I got from Phil Heath on YouTube, always a great source, um, and using a rope um, instead of a bar of some kind to you know, do a back exercise. This allows you to get absolute squeeze because usually what happens is, is when people use either a bar, it will stop there, your kind of chest. Whereas when you have the rope, you can bring it all the way back and get that squeeze. And that is what you want, that kind of Christmas tree effect in your back, getting that ultimate squeeze and essentially the most amazing back. You don't need to go ultra heavy on this. This is just something where you really want to get that squeeze and that contraction into the back. And like I said, using the rope, you're going to be able to go that little bit further to allow you to get that squeeze. So let's get that form together. Nice chest up higher. With a bar, you would stop there. With the rope, you get that extra squeeze there and that makes all the difference. So usually I would do around 10 to 12 reps of this, four sets. If you go lighter, obviously you can do slightly higher reps. Um, but I would say usually 10 to 12 on a good weight. Nothing too heavy where you can't pull it, but just something where you feel once you get to those 12 reps, you've uh, really burnt everything out. So I'd say 10 to 12 on a good weight. So we have the third exercise, one that I absolutely love. It's a great shoulder build. It's the shoulder press using dumbbells. I love using free weights for this. It just allows you to get a bit more movement and it allows you to really, really build them shoulders, get that absolute squeeze. And it's something that's usually available to me when I'm on tour because there's just weights laying around. So yeah, shoulder press via dumbbells, absolutely amazing exercise to build those shoulders. So now on to cable fly. Again, this is one that I really, really enjoy to do. It's great on chest day. Gives you that ultimate squeeze in your chest. So great for me just before I'm about to hit stage. Do some of these in the hotel gym. Get that pump going. So we're going to get into it. Cable fly, let's do it. Again, keep that chest up high. Ready for that squeeze in the center of your chest. I usually probably do about 20 reps of this. Um, this would be towards the end of my workout, so. So now onto the fifth exercise, one that I absolutely love. I'm lucky that I was kind of born with some good triceps. <laughs> so any exercises that I do just really enhances it. So one that I really love is the Easy Bar Skull Crushers. It's just so great. Using an easy bar as well for this just gives you the ultimate movement, allows you to get really low and uh, really builds those triceps. So I tend to go fairly heavy on this. 20 kg plus the bar. I'll usually do probably about 12 to 15 reps of this. Again, slow movement, hitting those triceps. And now for my final, final exercise of the workout. This is one that I do all the time when I'm on tour. Again, you know, limited equipment in the gyms around the world, and it's just the ultimate builder. It's great for that overall kind of compound exercise is the goblet squat. So I'll try to go as heavy as possible and do as many reps as I can. And it's just the ultimate, ultimate compound exercise. If you want to place it like that in the palms of your hands, you want a flat foot on the ground. So. Straight feet, you want to get that ultimate, ultimate squat for this. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my workout. As I said, this is one that I do at home and on tour. So if you enjoyed the workout, make sure you subscribe to Men's Health. I'll see you soon. Peace.